Well, hey there team and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Wildermyth. So we're revisiting this today. It has a bit of a history on the channel. Uh, spoiler, I think this is a great game. Um, it should be on a bit of a sale at the moment as well. So if you are interested, go ahead and check it out over on Steam. Uh, beyond that, I, the developers have just recently announced that they're going to be doing some sort of armor DLC for the game, which is cool, you know, if you want to support it some more, especially when cosmetics actually does play into a little bit of this game. Uh, so what is this? It is a, I guess you could say high fantasy, because uh, there's a lot of, you know, th these monstrous components, magic, all that sort of stuff, um, adventure, uh, story simulator, I suppose. It does have a, a fairly simple XCOM-like tactical turn-based combat layer, um, but it's not going to, you know, break the bank. That's not what it really hangs its hat on. What it, What's so good about this is the way that your fellowship of characters uh, interact with each other and it develops a narrative. It's, it's one of the best I've seen at developing a kind of emergent narrative story with an ensemble of characters that change, they get older, they get injured, they can die heroically, that sort of stuff. And it moves through the ages and then junior generations come through protecting people from the monsters and that sort of stuff. But it, it actually, it, it takes, I suppose, one of the attractions of XCOM where you get attached to your random little troopers as, as they do missions and it turns it up to 11. And you get very emotionally invested and that is the core of this game. It's really wonderfully done. Anyway, so let's just go and start a, a new story, right? You've got a whole bunch of things here, but the age of Ulstrix is the, the sort of main draw, um, which we'll do for now. Main enemy Gorgons, Adventurer. Uh, we've got a map seed, but then off we go. Cool. So it's just generating some, some dudes. You can change that, obviously. You can shuffle it up. You can randomize it. Joban, Jantol, and Athenless. Future Warrior, Hunter, and Mystic. They're sort of the three main uh, classes. Romantic Coward, Decisive Greed Wagon. <laughs> I like that. Put that on my tombstone. Snarky Leader. Oh, great. I bet she, she can go work in the writer's room on the next Avengers movie. Um, anyway, but let's let's work with that. Advanced Calamities, don't worry about that. It takes a bit of time to put it together. Um, I haven't even mentioned the aesthetic, which is it is all done through this sort of book telling like a pop-up book you can see and I just uh, it's so pretty the music is really quite uh, lovely too okay smoke this book there's room in it for another story it's cold and I'm stuck here maybe I don't survive the night these words are for my friends if you find me be brave Joe Barn and Jan Toll this is a warning but where do I begin here in our yondering country Something in the woods is very strange. I love the art, it's so cool. We might zip through it a little bit because there's only so much I can cover in, in a short video. Startled only by the rustling of mice amongst the thorn, a young man named Joban takes the seasonal road to the town of Lonely Apple. New blankets, new candles, order a chair made, have the carpenter's kids deliver it. Oh, I'll be too cozy to move in my shadowless room. Next winter, I'll make everyone visit me. <laughs> Fair enough. Breezes light that day. Birds are timid. And and their little, their little sort of meandering thought bubbles and their interplay with one another is informed by their personalities and their relationships. It's quite charming, actually. It creates um, conflict, but also, you know, you can have like romances, I suppose, if... if you're one of those people that thinks a video game's better with romance in it. Ugh. In fact, the whole world is taking a breath, ready to leap in the sea. I'm there already, huh? Oh, here's the hard part. Getting Jantol out of the house. Wonder if his bread-baking idea ever worked out. Or his dice game. Or if he bought that press. <laughs> or, which is cool, because what was he called? A greed wagon? So he might be a bit of a, you know, an opportunity chaser. That's smoke? Fluttering flames roost among the far-off rooftops. Joban hurries toward the town, thinking of Jantol, a young man whom he's known since boyhood. So you can sort of choose their interplay. I will go with just friendship. He must have tried to cook breakfast again. <laughs> but rivalry's pretty good as well. Jantol, you all right? 
I'll get you out. Just make a little noise. All right, so we're chucked straight in. Put out fires. So you have a two two action point uh, move system. It's extinguish. It is uh, one of the really cool things because you've got like warrior types. Um, you've got sort of ranger archers, which can, you know, they go into that sneaky rogue space. But the magic users have this sort of telekinetic component to the magic in this world, which I think is really clever. Now, a lot of it is like interacting with furniture or bookshelves or, or even that fire and and then using that to sort of springboard and attack enemies nearby with with various um, item specific attacks it's it's quite it's a quite a cool magic system anyway I just thought I'd mention that at the top we'll probably get to it okay cool well open the door all right Open door. His house is still standing, at least. Gentle, fire, fire out here. You're not sleeping, are you? He doesn't know. <laughs> the door unlocks. Why is no one? Gentle shoves it open. Hey, do you not smell the... I smell the smoke. Get inside. Hup. <laughs> I like the little Batman speech bubbles. It's good. Your bow. Yeah, there's things in the streets. You didn't see any? Like monsters. I don't know. I've got one trapped behind. Ooh, <laughs> behind the house. We'll burn in here. Can we? I mean, I mean we could. We could try to find it. Because they're just young. This is their origin story, right? They're just little young upstarts. Right. So here, I've got some tools around. You're stronger than I am. You can swing something pretty good. I bet we can at least drive it off. Pitchfork, pickaxe, or frying pan? This is for cooking. Why don't I grab this? I always grab the frying pan. But I don't know, maybe we'll uh, try this. If it breaks stones, then it breaks bones. All right, it can be killed, right? Just be ready when you open that door. R a row, hooves throw, thrown sloppily around beneath it. It runs staggeringly, uh, staggering, bellowing in agony. Now, this is part of a card system for enemies, which we'll get to. It's sort of a meta overlay when the game opens up into the open world. We'll sort of push through to that. But um, you, you find yourself trying to essentially defend against incursions from lots of different town uh, against townships. So you might have to send dudes over here to build defenses, other ones to go recruit someone, blokes over here to, to do a patrol or a scouting mission. And, um, and these building enemy card decks escalate the problem in a Doom Timer-esque uh, gameplay loop. It's actually pretty sophisticated Despite this, well, you know, cutesy aesthetic. Um, Alright, let's go. Let's open the door. Alright, big big Janny Jantel. So, you seem, you get like a, an adjacency armor defense bonus. Um, we'll just wait. Because I want Joe Barn to take the brunt of it. Let's push him out. Revealed. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't interrupt your move, which is a little bit of a shame. Let's push out. Yeah. Can we shoot it? We can. Boots! Get zapped. So it leaves like a little, little toxic footpath. Blocked! Uh oh. I was gonna say, it'd be pretty bad if my main character dies immediately. So they can get permadeath, but they can also, like, lose a limb, that sort of thing. Um, and they, they even have, like, weirds. I had I had a chick get possessed by a demon at one point, and I'm pretty sure she got, like, a third eye on her head or glowing eyes. And, you know, so their, their characters don't just get augmented superficially. They can have significant, like, curses and, and all sorts of weird events that develop, have an arm lopped off. That, that affects what they can carry. Like, there is a lot of depth here. Anyway, so we got to pick his speciality, I suppose. Blood Rage Raider. Active, active. The Greenhorn Warrior. As a swift action, Joban can start a fire on an empty tile. Or break a piece of it. You know what, let's, let's do that. It's a bit strange. Ambush, piercing shots. Um, 
Oh, what's this? Every time he kills an enemy, he enters a grey plane for free, becoming hidden, and that's a passive? Oh, yeah? Let's chuck- bung that in. So that's kind of cool. And then, uh... Oh, we've got this, so we can... Stunt chance. Uh, stunt effects. I, I believe that's just the term in this for, like, stuns? Uh, environmental sort of things? I can't quite remember. Let's just give it to you. That'll- that's fine. And then they wear it on their on their character model in all the little cutscenes as well. It's, it's all very cool. I just shot a monster. I hit it, didn't I? Did I hit it? Lie to me if you have to. <laughs> the creature's death is quiet. It seems to slip from life in a few stunned hazy blinks. They'll, uh, they'll spend a piece of the day uh, getting the flames under control. The damage isn't as bad as it could have been. Townsfolk emerge and from hiding and to fight fires and clear debris. Some full of curiosity, others visibly haunted by what they have seen. We should go. Uh, Athen Athenless is alone. Unless you think, I mean, I'm not sure who's safer suddenly. Athenless? She's at that ruined tower by now. Anyway, what about my house? No one's going to steal your stuff. Athenless will be waiting for us. What happened today could be happening everywhere, couldn't it? Something about that tower is just stuck in my mind. It's... Like when you get an apple skin in your teeth. Oh, okay, interesting choice. Is it really? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I just think uh, we said we'd meet her. We should. The tower in the hills. You've been there? Yeah, once. Actually, looking at the tracks, they come and they go in that direction. Jalban and Jantol follow the pounded path of monstrous feet, hoping for the best and dreading every other possibility. Um, oh, what's this? How about we go rivalry? Just be breathing, okay? So we can all yell at you and go home. <laughs> a wordless while passes between them, but the quiet only heightens their worry. You know, you don't exactly get along with Athelness Ath 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 this these days, hmm? Oh, maybe not, no? You know what it is? It's like today. While we clean up, what I'm gonna assume was her mess, I bet that busy body's up there now. Without a care in the world. <laughs> okay, cool. So we get a little bit of a glimpse of how the overworld map works. Um, and scouting, which is great. You can see it, there is a limit, that sort of circle of it. And it's it's based in sort of campaign missions as well. So you would finish this map and the game progresses five years or something, you know, and then picks back up at the next stage. Um... So what you essentially do is you go here, you go scout, and then you allocate which heroes are going to go. And in this case, we're going to obviously send them both. But that's how you can split people apart and send them to do different things in different sectors. Okay. The previous night, the tower where Athenless has arranged to meet Jaoban and Jantol is a place she often used to escape to as a girl. She knows its rooms and floors so well. She could survive being chased through them. And now I wait, I suppose. Dust gets deep as rain puddles in here. Alive is alive, better have a plan if that beast breaks through. Hmm. You don't mean any of this, do you, beast? You're trapped in whatever sickness has changed you. It's a picturesque old tower, perfect for a plot twist. There's an elden dignity in the stones. They stand for standing. Those, uh, it seems they guard nothing. But as the old will tell you, precious things go overlooked in a ruin. What lodges uh, amidst the bones of failure is often the dream that drove it. Okay. It's getting a little bit up its own ass with uh, some of this writing, but it's okay. That book, why have I never... Uh, easy there. I guess you're wondering why I'm talking to myself, huh, beast? Well, because it's a poorly constructive narrative device, but I don't know if the beast knows that. I'm also wondering. She pulls it loose, and then we sort of go full circle that we've got the Wildermyth book. Look at this. And it's sort of the book that we're reading the narrative from is the book in and of itself. Circles of the Ancients. It's wild nonsense. How a woodcutter can read the rings inside old trees to find the exact moment a grave, grove began calling itself a forest. The coin claw bear and the Binstrom fox. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly a conversation between a miserly bear and a travelling fox. In the final sentence, the fox stamps the bear's soul into a coin and sends her around the world on the current of exchange. <laughs> Papa, lo Papa Lonely Apple's Horn. 
spins the yarn of a father who drank so much and laughed so freely that he grew a beautiful spiral horn and his children were very proud. It's very cool. It's very fairy tale is, is what I would probably settle on. Atalensis reaches uh, uh, the last tale, last word in the final tall tale and a few blank pages are left. This book, something in it feels like it's coming loose, but you can't tell exactly what. There's room for another story. It's cold and I'm stuck here. This is a warning, but where do I begin? Here is our yondering country. And so we've kind of tied around in a circle. Now they seem lightning plain, a promise of thunder. For in the wild black woods where birds once belled, a hateful silence churns. Pain lights Athelancis's head, subsides. I made it to morning. She lowers her bleary eyes. Um, her story lies before her in luminous script. Empty pages have sprouted behind it. Why do I feel powerful? Pulls the spoon from her pocket or a staff. Yes, spoon time. Let's go. Open wide beast. I'm getting out of here. So that's sort of your just narrative set up for this campaign. You can also play like a, a campaign generator, which is great because, you know, the, the heart of the story and arguably with many great stories is is quite often less about the MacGuffin or the narrative string that they walk along and more about the characters and their interplay. This is often forget forgotten in a lot of modern writing and it's kind of tragic. Um, okay, so we've got a rager. Charges. Got it. So this chick's a interfuse. That's what it is. She's a magic lady. There he is there. So I believe we're separated by like a divide so I can freely interfuse. So say interviews with the tools and then that enables us to do barrage. Tools are torn into a deadly whirl, rending targets in a nearby area with tooly, with their tooly teeth. So you barrage it with the tools in the box. I think it's very clever. Um, let's interfuse again, maybe on this cabinet. And in this case it can splinter. Oh no, it can't uh, withdraw. Oh, I can interfuse with these torches. All right, steel fire. What does that do? Versus fire is unleashed onto a nearby tile. Oh, you know what? That's in the wrong room. But if anything, it's been a, a good way to showcase interfusing. So what I really need to do is interfuse with this brazier. Illuminate. Lit lamps. Are useful for interfusion abilities. Yeah. This fire is unleashed into a nearby tile. That's cool. That's actually really cool how I chained all that together to set him on fire. So there's there's a bit of bit of play with what you can do with the magic. Which is great because I find I kind of dislike magic in video games. There's no secret I like playing barbarians and punching and smashing things. And you know, if you're gonna role play as a fantasy character, why would you choose some malnourished loser that you know shoots magic fireballs? I'd rather play as friggin' Conan the Barbarian. Um, but it, but the other thing is like often it's just oh I shoot fireballs instead of shooting nine millimeter rounds. At least the magic in this is inventive. It's unusual as opposed to just a stand-in for lasers. Um, spirit Blade. Compulsion. What's compulsion? Briefly interfuses with an enemy and forces it to move where she pleases. Oh, that's pretty cool. I can interfuse with their head. Grape vel gra gravel pelt necklace. Armor. And put it on there. There you go. Now it's on her character model. She's got a little bit of armor. Cool. More monsters roam the ruined halls and rattle the rotting furniture. But Athenless moves quietly, sensing her way in the dark. Daylight lands on her wrist. Cool wind soothes her tired eyes. All I had to do was the impossible, not too bad. She closes the tower door, gentle to make no noise. That's what the mystic art... Th that was the mystic's art that I did, right, Tower? Where'd I get it from? Could it have just happened? 
Is it just one of those things? Things a woman's born with? Oh, well, that's just a person, but okay. Uh, that may that might blossom in her life when she needs them? Maybe I can't know, but I can already feel the responsibility. Athenless! But, uh, but am I a bedtime story now? Am I a bedtime story? You're a bloody Twitter user by the sounds of it. These people that think that they're a main character in a story. I'm going to find a talking animal. Am I going to find a talking animal who gives me a quest? Athenless, you bunkhead. <laughs> hey, did something happen? Hmm, Joe Barn. Yes, sorry, Jantol's voice just bounces off my ears sometime. Joe Barn and I only barely made it. Yes, yeah, see that smoke on the horizon? That's from the town. Yeah, that's Lonely Apple. It burned? Arrgh. Things are different than they were. Hmm. Yeah, well, I don't know if you've ever seen something quite like it. A monster? Sure we have. We slay monsters. Okay, well, I do magic. Well, there we go. The pissing contest begins. So we're sort of a little bit off the leash now. We've discovered a new site. It's still under enemy control. Click the banner to assault it. So same sort of thing. We're going to task them in. You can see he's healed up over time when they traveled. But that's the thing as well. Your dudes don't just auto heal. So you do have to put blokes on the bench if you don't want to get them killed. They only, you know, they, they can only handle so much. Uh, we have a plan, right? What's the plan? I just want to know the plan first. <laughs> Perfect understanding isn't likely to emerge. What these beasts are, where they came from, what drove them to attack the town of Lonely Apple. But letting them nest here feels like the wrong idea. That's not a confident face. Sure, well, um, what do we got here? Plus courage, plus stoicism. I just came out of there. If we're methodical, patient, we can fend them off at least. That's fair. Back at my house, it was pretty simple. Kill the beast before it kills you. Yeah, sure. Well, let's go with the stoic approach. Stoicism. All heroes get plus one armor and warding. That's cool. And now we've got two types of enemies to fight. All right. Let's send old mate through the door first. Nice. Bomb the little troopers up. Oh, it's always a pleasure playing this game again. Okay. Open door. Revealed! All right. Get up and in there, mate. Raider. I don't suppose I can... No, I... Oh, well. I can't set fire to them. <laughs> It's a bit of a shame, but oh well. Okay, well, strike. Strike it is. Okay, so can she interviews without line of sight is the question. Don't suppose I can choose the character. Here we go. Well, he's got line of sight to these. There we go. Uh, compulsion. Now, I wonder if I can maybe zap them from here. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, well at least they're backing up now. Armor shredded. No good. Oh, yeah, dive on it. Smart. Man, I'm so smart. Um, not a, he's not really given me a lot to interfuse with. Um, I can attack him at least. Not a lot of damage, but it's something. Nice. She's got stacks of armor too. Get jabbed, mate. Done. Have a seat. Got victory. Oh, what's this? Speed goes slower, higher armor. Hunter armor. Oh, there you go. Don't really have a choice. It's going on him, whether we like it or not. Wolfheart pauldron. Oh. Plus health. I mean, I might as well put it on our tank, right? Nice. The last misshapen creature folds its bones and dies. Blue fluids. Darken the dust. Oh, wow. Just blood, I suppose. Corrupted blood. Corrupted is a heady word. Hey, look at us. Look what we did. Yeah. 
day drops and rises and blah de blah. Um, what I might do is just see if I can skip through this. Oh, right, so we, we have to name our little band of merry men, right? How about uh, the Witch Bandits? Yeah, all right, that sounds pretty good. Um, let's just skip through that and be done. And that's essentially your sort of inroads. Now, that's been added to the, the monster card level. And you can see here, now it does let you off the, off the leash. So you can secure this area if you want and build uh, defenses. You could go out here and run scouting missions. You could go here and run a recruit mission. You can craft things as well. There's a lot of stuff to do. Um, and so we're just scratching the surface of it. Your, your band of heroes will expand, but it doesn't get humongous, right? You can see them taking up space down the side. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's really cool. I really like this game and uh, you should check it out yourself if you, f if you find any of this very interesting. Anyway, I think that'll do us for now, team. Wildermyth, what a ripper. Should be going a bit cheap. Uh, we might just leave it there for the time being and I will catch you guys on the next one.